to write songs in English and I had to perform in English and in addition to that I had to speak in English on the stage so even though I can like pr practice singing and writing and everything in advance um, when I'm on the stage I have to speak spontaneously I haven't noticed any, like within our band there's been no kind of um, cultural difficulties at all. Um, I don't think we've had any, to be honest with you. Like, I think it's all been fine. She's really lucky. Yeah, yeah, yeah honestly, like, I think the problem about the reason her, like, her English is so good and stuff is helps a lot. I think she's very well versed and very educated and she has a very good ear for her genre and what she makes is always very interesting. She's really hardworking. She like really very encouraging, I guess as well. She like really um, she pushes you. As a musician, really hard, but like, is so kind and helpful about it. And she herself just like works so hard. Timing's weird. Every time, or just only that time? Only when, yeah. I work really hard, so when I perform. Um, perform and after that if I get any compliments or any good feedback and really nice reception for the from the audience I really find it um, rewarding to myself and that's kind of making me keep going because um, I have to know if all this effort uh, is really um, worth doing it. up on the stage like whenever they just um, want to come up to me and say hi and ask me where I'm from or um, if I say my band is from Liverpool and they will say no 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 where do your parents are from kind of thing and that kind of feels like okay they if I like like I would answer that yeah I'm Korean but um, after this they will have the perception uh, stereotype of me, so I have to break it through anyway. So that kind of um, gives me some sort of uh, uh, sense of not barrier, but a little bit of obstacle. But I I enjoy breaking those. Uh, 
uh, stereotypes. So like, I just do really good gig. Grace's music is very challenging. I find to be a very good exercise for my musicality. So I wanted to join Listen with Grace to develop my vocals and my ear and my harmonies. Um, I really liked her music. I'd heard her play a couple of times and uh, she asked me to play and it's her music quite challenging so it was like okay I'm gonna have to like really work. sound of the band in general and I was quite a big fan of her music before I ever joined the band. It's scary what she's capable of and so it pushes everyone else in the band to be to be better. This is this has been changed a lot. Um, when I was young I wanted to be a really successful musician which like by which uh, it means I can earn a lot of money or become really popular or famous uh, in, in my area, being well known and stuff. But like now it feels like if I have people who enjoy my music and if I can keep performing with my band and um, I'm, I'm healthy and having a good life, that will be the goal, my, my life goal. Hello. Hello. Hello, people. I'm Grace Kim. Uh, we're kind of from Liverpool, and yeah, uh, hope you guys enjoy my music. This one's called No One. initially has started to cure myself. I won't say cure, but like, um, well, in society, any society, um, we kind of have this thing that we should not talk about this kind of thing or that kind of thing and we feel uncomfortable talking about um, upsetting events or um, like sad, uh, sad memories or um, something that I feel really uncomfortable I don't want to share with other people sometimes and I just had to release those thoughts in me I had to um, sh I, have, I had to let it out so I can release it and heal myself and I couldn't do it verbally or I couldn't do it in written language or whatever so I found music <laughs> Collaborate with people from different cultures and stuff because everyone comes from a different starting point and you learn a lot more about the world. The more people you meet, the more people from different backgrounds, you can kind of improve yourself as a person, I guess. Generally, like a really good thing, especially because it makes everything more interesting. The more different ideas and different ways of doing things that you have in in one place, um, tend to make the thing that you're doing more interesting. to meeting each other halfway when it comes to language and cultural differences. So I'd say it hasn't been any difficulties at all. No, I don't think so, not at all. 
I'm always like, whenever like Grace talks about Korea, I'm always like, oh, I want to go so bad. <laughs> like whenever she tells stuff, like it's always like really like fun to hear. It's never really like nothing's difficult. It's it's good. Yeah. Um, but as long as people are generally understanding of um, each other's cultures, then I don't think there should be any kind of issue. It's only when people aren't ready to accept what other people are like. That's when it, that's when problems tend to. The thing is like they're really kind, really kind and really generous and they are, um, they really try to be cooperative with my music and they like my music, they tell me they like it and they suggest me good ideas. So I think they're the best members so far. <laughs>